You know, like I've told you in several of my news, the British government we are part and parcel of Nande Kano's kidnap, and I have challenged them to come openly to call for release of Nande Kano if they believe that they have no hand in his kidnap. But they can't because they are part and parcel of it. In fact, they map out so much amount of money in billions just to make sure that Namde Kano was kidnapping Kenya with the help of Tinibu and his predecessor. They planned everything. In fact, they were part of the meeting that held somewhere with the British government consulate. That plan was made. Wike was also enlightened. He was told about it. Like I said, so many people. This was actually part of the story why Wike supported the people from the beginning. All the atrocities they committed against Bia France, with all the whole thing they did, including employing us to work with help, 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 help in the most state to cause so much havoc. Because killing of Gulak in the most state did not help them so much. They only succeeded in killing so many boys. But that did not help them in stopping the Biafra agitation and the restoration to come. This was also why British made, made sure that Tinibu become the president of Nigeria with his corrupt activities and the whole criminality on his head. Let's assume we plan to do the right thing. Let's assume in Nigeria is a country that the right thing is done. Someone like Tinibu can never be a president of Nigeria. But British made sure that that happened. Billions were spent for the capture of Namde Kano illegally. Bring him back to Nigeria illegally. Today, all their plans, they did not succeed. So they thought they could succeed. Immediately, Tinibu get into office. Buhari could not succeed in achieving their aims. Because IPOB was too clear from the beginning to understand the game they were playing. They wanted to use a terrorist charge to destroy their fragmentation and to continue to keep them the in custody. But they failed. Today, the British government is asking them for a fund. That is the truth, if you don't know. There's something about the white. They do everything secretly. It's not like we, the Biafrans, who openly say everything. And the truth is this. This is why some of us have come not to fail. That plan was made secretly. But what this was exposed by Master Namde Kano, even before he was kidnapped. Because he saw it coming. And why he was kidnapped, we applied British government to do the right thing. We told them to do the right thing, I mean, but they refused to do something by calling for his release. This alone shows that what Mazen and the Kalo told you was the truth. Today, secretly, they are still asking for their money since they could not succeed in their plans, in their quest. To disturb the fragmentation. They used so many people, but they did not succeed. The world are watching. The world is watching what is happening. And there is something going on and on underground as we speak. This is going to get better soon, right soon. They have told 
APC government to give them back their money. Since they could not succeed in stopping their fragmentation. With all the killings. In fact, they plan to murder so many people just to get Biafra dropped. While they were at it, they also went several times in custody to convince Mazen Namdekano. And in one occasion, he warned them thoroughly that nothing in earth will make him to stop Biafra agitation and restoration. Today, they are requesting for their money. Tinibu should open up to Nigerians and tell them how much they are owing British that was mapped out to destroy their fragmentation and to kidnap Kano in Costa. Kano in Kenya and brought him back to Nigeria illegally. I told several of you that British was contemplating and arresting Kano in England. But they were afraid that he would be set free so easily because he is a freedom fighter and a human rights activist. But since Nigerian government is so corrupt that no court order is obeyed in Nigeria, this was why they used him. Because he was hitting hard on British. Their corrupt practices in Africa, what they have done against the Biafras in Nigeria, they have to use their terrorist flooding government to kidnap him. And according to United States investigation, these are a group of missionaries. But that I will not going to explain now here. Tinibu should set him the Kano free. He should obey court of law. Nigeria can never walk without her. Changing the constitution and every order from court obeyed. And judges stop being biased, bias, I mean. If not, Nigeria will continue to remain a contraction, a criminally minded contraction created by British. So far, they are concerned. They don't care about who rule Nigeria. All they care about is so far they are getting their dues. Why the poor masses in Nigeria suffer? Now they are requesting for their money back. Tinibu should open up and tell Nigerians how Buhari plan with British government, him included in a meeting to bring Nandi Kalo back to Nigeria illegally with so much amount of billions mapped out for that job to be done. I think I've come to the end of this new J Biafra.